So for this one I wanted to test out a kind of controlled environment to see how well the different calibers that are most used stack up against each other in Arma. I'm going to do some 90 degree shots and some angle shots on the brick building and the house. Um, you're never going to be doing straight 90 shots on houses when you're playing really, so I figured to throw both of them in. Later on I'll shoot at the aircraft control tower in the distance to see the different trajectories that I'll see. First up is 556 out of the Mark 20. I'm going to show the process I'm going to use for the first rifle and then I'm going to skip to the results for the rest of them. I'm going to use the three first aid kits as reference points for where to stand so I try to get the most accurate results between them all. So as we're looking through the first one, I'll tell you what the color codes mean. Uh, red will be the most lethal for each rifle. Uh, it's still going to abide by how the round actually performs, so 556 is going to be awful for killing people. And all the way up to 9.8 is going to be absolutely fantastic. Now as they start changing color, they're going to be more affected by uh, you know, their actual trajectory and body armor and all that other stuff. Uh, it goes from red to yellow to green to blue. Blue is pretty much tickling. As we see with the Mark 20, none of the shots really even penetrated. Don't use 5.56! Five, five, Next up we have 6.5 out of the Katiba. I said blue before is tickling, white is even worse. As we can see with 6.5 out of the Kativa, it's not a whole lot better. Next up we're going to have 7.62 out of the Mark 1 EMR. This is where we're going to see our first jump in how well the bullets perform. I figured, what the hell, I'll try using a different rifle for 7.62 as well. I was actually very surprised. Right off the start you can see the uh, M14 actually did really well in comparison. It, uh, it really maintained its lethality. Next up is our first real heavy hitter. Uh, it's the 338 of the LMG. Uh, it compares fairly similar to the 9.3. Um, bullet penetrations don't quite do it justice for how well it performs in disabling vehicles. Hitting little birds or other soft vehicles actually rips them up pretty well. Um, it, it does, it's not really demonstrated very well by the bullet penetration tests.
now we're going to see 338 of the Mar 10, which is the marksman rifle. Um, kind of interesting. It actually performs differently than the 338 of the LMG. Next up, we're going to see how 9.3 out of the Cyrus works. Again, it's it's pretty interesting. It's it's very similar, but it uh, still performs differently. Next we're going to see 9.3 out of the Navid MG. Next we're going to see our special snowflake, the ASP, which is a subsonic 12.7, which is 50 cal. It's really weird. Next up is the second part of the video. We're going to show the trajectories of the two marksman rifles and the two LMGs that were introduced. We're also going to show that stupid special snowflake, the ASP. So what I'm going to do now is take the first aid kit as a reference point. I'm going to pile all of them up on here and I'm going to see how they stack up at 600 meters towards the aircraft control tower. So as you can see, regardless of how well they penetrate buildings, they all fly pretty well the same. Except for this thing. It's like shooting a fucking rainbow out of your gun. I'm going to do one in real time, we'll see how fast it goes. It's going to take about three seconds, three whole fucking seconds to get there. It's, it's really bad. You want to use the ass for real close range. Here's the third and final part. I wanted to see how well the rounds could penetrate the MRAPs. I was actually pretty surprised.
I'm gonna do this with a few of them, and we'll uh, we'll see what they do. That's a dead driver, man. Although, all the MRAPs, uh, you will need to shoot through the windows to do anything. Uh, the armor plating on the vehicles is too strong for anything but the APDS uh, from the links to penetrate. So, if you want to kill the occupants, you can do it. 